All right, jumping straight into it today. Kelsey and I are started day off in the kayaks here out somewhere in Southern Texas. All we need to do is cross this uh, like big heavy channel. There's a lot of wind coming out of the Southeast. You okay? She's free floating. Yeah, she's good. The wind's supposed to pick up a little bit later too, but I think since it's coming out of the Southeast, right around this little bend over here, I think it's gonna be like perfect wind coverage. And I'm really hoping, especially with this cloudiness and just the conditions today, that guy's flying, flying. Make sure she doesn't get smacked. I think that there's a possibility of catching some freaking fish over here. Now, this is gonna be my first time ever saltwater fishing down here in uh, Texas. Oh yeah, no, this is nice. Perfect windiness. This actually feels so, so good out. It's like in the 70s today. I think there's some islands we could check out. Dang, these people are flying, flying, my guy. Oh, thank you. That is appreciated. It's the Coast Guard, actually. All right, y'all, what is up? Welcome officially to the video. Bringing out the big camera here. So this is uh, a little area I guess we're gonna be checking out. We need to get across the treacherous, windy canal over there. But I'm actually really excited, man. I haven't been really kayak saltwater fishing, especially for these kind of fish. If you guys saw the last redfish video, that was literally so much freaking fun, man. I cannot imagine hooking into one of those. Even like a small one from a kayak, I feel like take you on a little sleigh ride or something but basically what we got going on today here i actually picked something up back when we were in florida at academy sports oh i just saw some oh there's a mullet jumping over there we're also seeing like dolphins swim by and everything it was so cool we were just sitting here and i heard like from the dolphin i guess breathing out of its hole but yeah anyway so we were at academy sports and i saw something and i just had to freaking pick it up let's not fall over and also look at this freaking new bag man i, I needed a new tackle bag for the longest time this thing is absolutely freaking sick. It matches the pliers. There's so many holes and pockets and stuff. But what we are gonna be doing today is try this thing out right here, man. This is a Berkeley Gulp Saltwater Fishing Gift Pack. It's kind of like a mystery saltwater fishing box from Academy Sports, $40 value. I don't remember, I think it was like 25 bucks. And as you can see on here, there is a redfish and there is a trout, which is supposed to be super big around this area, the redfish and the trout. So we're gonna use the knowledge that we got from fishing with seven over there in Louisiana. And uh, yeah, man, we have some seven baits as well, but I wanna crack this thing open and we're gonna see exactly what we got in here. I think I'm gonna have Kelsey hold the camera. I don't know how this is gonna work. You think you can hold it? She's saying no, I think you can do it. Sheesh, that is a nice red kayak. I feel so bad because I got the really nice kayak. We need to get another one, yo, Old Town, if you're watching this, man. What's up, dude? We go. Oh, I hit the ground. Let me lift my jaw up real quick. Oh, jeez. Just scaring all the fish away. Look at this little dude right here. He's hanging on to this thing. Is that one? A little snail. No, he's just, no, I'll put it back. Oh. Berkeley Gulp Fishing Saltwater Mystery Pack Whatever It's actually pretty interesting because on here I, it has a picture of sunglasses. Does it come with sunglasses? Hello? What kind of tape do they use? <laughs> At least it's not staples. Some of these fishing people use staples and it always stabs me. Oh, it's a little bit windy, man. Alright, so we got a, a box. Ooh. Okay, so, so far, um, we got a box in a box. And I think this kind of tells us, but we're not going to read that. This is not sponsored by Academy or Berkeley. Um, I've actually never... What the heck was that? I've actually never used any of this before, but this is one eighth ounce fusion uh, jig heads. They look white, so that's pretty cool. Okay, this is actually... Okay. Gulp New Penny Shrimp. I've actually heard that these are, like, that's one of the best colors. I'm not exactly sure because this water is a little chocolate milky. It's been windy. Next up, we have another Berkeley Gulp package. This is a white. The color is pearl white. Interesting. Okay. So we have three packs of shrimp. This is a natural shrimp color. So again, just Berkeley Gulp shrimp. I did not know. I guess I could have read the box. I guess there's shrimp around this area. It should be good. And also, look, look at this, this package. Eh? We got Berkeley Polarized, sheesh, people are flying. We got some Berkeley polarized sunglasses out here. U, V, A, U, V, B, polarized, lunette, polarized, How do I don't look? Is it cool? Honestly, these are like so, how do you describe it? <laughs> it says that on there? Okay, so the glasses are $15. So this, all this other stuff, that's kind of a deal, I guess. This other stuff is like 10 bucks. But I don't know how much it costs them to make that. I don't know. But basically, um, I could have sworn, hold on a second. 
Maybe this is like a mystery box. No, I guess not. I thought there was different size jig heads. All right, so we're gonna dive deep into this. We're gonna kind of search around. I see fish jumping over there. I think we have a few ideas in mind on how I could try to catch some fish. I don't know. Three bags of shrimp though. I'll give it a shot, man. I have some other stuff too. Hopefully uh, I could catch a fish. I don't know, we've already seen some dolphins, so that's cool. I think it's gonna be a good day though. Let's get rigged up. All right, all right. So, uh, grab the freaking line, dude. So again, we are using, uh, it's kind of like Frankenstein-ish kind of combo. We have this mock smash rod, and then I have a uh, Lose Inshore, uh, I think this is a 4000 series reel, and then that has 30 pound braid on it. Basically in Louisiana, guys were saying, I mean, you don't really need to use a leader, so we're just gonna try the same thing here. All right, low key, I'm like blowing into the, that's all I need is to get splattered by a freaking boat. Oh, come on, you could do it, Crocs. This water's a little bit murky, the darker one might be a little bit better. This is natural shrimp color. I need to be, Cautious with this juice. Are you looking good with the mystery shades on? Okay, this is, I just beached myself. I cannot remember the last time I rigged up a gulp shrimp. I don't think I've ever caught a fish on a gulp shrimp. Oh, showing some leg there. There we go, man. Little white jig head, push that a little bit more forward. All right, looks good, I think. Time to catch some fish. I'm creaking all around. You want to be like a ninja. Okay, that's good. Oh, that point looks so good right there where the wind's blowing around it. The question is, how fast do I work a shrimp? Because if you think of a fleeing shrimp, like it's probably pretty fast, right? The main things we're going to be kind of focusing on are points. I think these grass lines, like the... Uh, Lines up the bank, and then also if we can find any oyster beds, which looks like this might be an oyster bed right here. Loki, that actually looks kind of fire. I'm trying to get this grass over here. What the heck? Hey y'all, we are here. It is the next day and we are going to take some revenge on these fish. I just wanted to catch one fish yesterday, but they were gonna catch hopefully a lot of fish. But I was actually talking to a local and uh, I'll show you guys. So we went left after here. They said, check out the right side, the right like bank line. I think the tide's up a little bit too. So like hopefully these fish are pushed back a little bit into these like shallow areas we can get to. I don't know, we'll talk more about it, but I got that mystery box and we got a bunch of other stuff. I just wanna catch a freaking fish down here in Texas. Let's see if we can do it. So, <laughs> I don't even know how to like describe this, man. So it is the next day after that last day that you guys saw, like we just put in the boat, we had some stuff happen. Okay, so over here, this is where we fished the first time with Kelsey and it was super, super freaking windy. It doesn't look like it's too windy today. It does say it might storm. So that could be interesting. Basically, man, <laughs> we went fishing out here yesterday and uh, it actually, like it worked. Oh my gosh, hello? Sheesh. Man's is thooming out here. It honestly probably would have been one of my favorite videos, maybe even ever on the channel, but definitely like, it, just, it was just a really good video. We came out here, we actually caught fish. Like I still don't know what I'm doing. I didn't really know what I was doing yesterday, but we could kind of sight cast some stuff. We caught some fish. Unfortunately, dude, ah, I've been wearing this head mount because it's like just a better camera angle for fishing and also you just don't look at my legs the whole time. The GoPro somehow was in time-lapse mode. I've heard this happen to other people. It was, I, I don't know, it just goes really fast and it's like a big time-lapse. There's no audio or anything. So you can kind of see me catching the fish, but it's just like no audio and it's so freaking jittery fast. I, I was kind of like, dude, I was hurt by that, man. It would have been a really cool video and I like to, uh, you know, say these kind of experiences as memories. That was just something the fishing gods never intended to be out there, man. The GoPro gods, the fishy gods, whatever you want to call them. So today we're out here. Just look at this though, man. Saw some dolphins all the way out. I mean, this is just like so freaking sick. We actually extended our stay. We were supposed to leave here out of Port O'Connor today and uh, we actually ended up staying another day just because I, I want to get out here and get some revenge on these fish. But also like this is the most fun fishing I've had in a long time, man. I just love like experiencing new things, fishing for new fish. But like the way we were catching them out here on our own too. Shout out to Diego, he's a local. And he kind of uh, told me, oh yeah, no, I could kind of see. Okay, hold on. Oh dude, if that sun was out, 
Where, where are you at? You guys even see that? I don't know if you can see that. We might be able to sight cast some freaking fish, dude. It is super nice. Okay, let's get rigged up here. So we are still using, uh, come over here, scraping a little bit on some oyster beds right now. We're gonna put on this gulp shrimp, man. These fish, I mean, it's part of their natural forage. I know we don't have the footage exactly to back it up. Well, we do, but it's just super fast. Hello, can you get on the hook? All right, there we go. But I mean, I like low key or high key. I, I, was, I was getting some attention. Oh, that just scared everything in sight. Oh, yeah. Professional fisherman right here. Professional YouTuber, professional fisherman. Got my kayak paddles upside down. All right. Ah. So this is fishing, man. We've been out here probably for like an hour. I just keep kind of like going that way and then getting blown by the wind, just floating like a ninja. I'm trying to see if I could see anything. I see like mud dust clouds mud clouds whatever you call them from like fish fleeing but yesterday i mean i was seeing a bunch of different stuff could be sheep's head we saw over here or uh flounder the sun peaked out almost for like a second i could see so much better through the water i'm just kind of paddling around right now yeah it's just like i could just tell man the sun was out i mean y'all know though this is just fishing man you come out one day and you can go out another day it's completely Completely different. It doesn't matter if it's salt water, fresh water. There's just so many variables that can change day to day, hour to hour, especially in places like this that are tidal and the wind and all these other boaters. Somebody could have been out here already kayaking earlier this morning, like disturbing the peace. Free Willy could have been flopping out here. Like you really don't freaking know. We're gonna change plans a little bit here. I think the strat right now is just fish the grass line. Maybe until the sun comes out, or maybe until we just figure something out. Please come out. I see the blue sky. It really is though. Like this is a vibe out here, man. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ooh. Doesn't feel like a giant, giant. Well, wow, that's a nice freaking. What is that? I was just literally blind casting. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm in the. Oh gosh, professional fisherman. Oh. Oh, oh my gosh. Holy crap. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my gosh, that is a freaking beautiful fish. Let's get out here a little bit more. Oh my gosh. All right. We're literally just blind casting now. That seems to be the strat. I mean, we can't really, with these conditions, sight cast all too well. Okay, chill, buddy. Leave it to me not to bring a freaking net or, please tell me I'm recording. <sighs> Thank the freaking Lord, dude. Oh my gosh, all right. He's croaking a little bit. Chill, buddy. <sighs> On the freaking trip. Shout out to uh, the boat guy. All right, he might jump out of my hands. But there we go, man. First one of the day. I don't even know if you can see that too well. I don't know where the freaking GoPro is exactly pointed. Is it up here? Is it down here? I'm not very good with this head mount, but there we go, dude. Oh my gosh, that is such a good feeling. Especially, I mean, we've been out here for a while already. All right, we gotta make sure this guy's good. Oh, he went actually straight down. Ah, let's go. Oh my gosh, everything, I feel like everything was against us. Not really, but I feel like stuff wasn't exactly going, you know, the way you want it to go. That's just a good feeling right there, man. All right. So it looks like, oh, the sun is actually out now. What the heck? This could be interesting. Oh my gosh, man. If you could, please go down there, hit that thumbs up button if you have not yet already. Oh my gosh. That, I mean, that wasn't a giant, giant. Just to be out here. Oh, the sun's coming out. Mullet is starting to bounce around. Just to be out here. I mean, in these conditions too, you know, I'm not like, there's not really fishing like this in Delaware, man. Like this is honestly, besides yesterday, this is like the second time I've ever done anything like this. If you haven't seen the uh, video from Louisiana, 
we redid uh, some sight fishing in shallow water for redfish off a boat. That was uh, a couple of videos ago. That was my first time ever like fishing for redfish ever. So it's safe to say that we're like brand new to this type of fishing. And it's safe to say, oh, something's jumping right there. See, I say this box, I mean, you know, it, it's got some gulp stuff in it. That's pretty much all it's in it besides those six shades. But if you want to come out here, attempt to, you know, catch some redfish, whether you're in Texas, Louisiana, I mean, I'm sure this would even honestly work in Delaware for flounder. I actually did hook into one yesterday. It was so crazy. I thought it was a freaking stingray. Apparently, like, I, I talked to a couple people around here. There's a lot of speckled trout, but I guess they're not, like, running, running yet. I guess it needs to get a little bit warmer. And uh, I know there's a lot of talk. I mean, a lot of people have heard about the freeze that happens here in Texas and a lot of fish croaked kind of during that time. I've talked to, like, a lot of people who lived around here. Apparently, that happens every year in this area so it seems like the fish populations here are pretty pretty good honestly it's pretty interesting stuff man oh dude look at this wind it's really starting to this wind's starting to push us a little bit you see these fish swimming you can just throw literally usually whatever in front of them and they'll hit it's it's kind of crazy honestly oh that is a big bird straight up looks like a real life bird pokemon hey, they got some crazy birds out here man we're just gonna keep working this grass line i mean there has to be some other stuff you'd think right like this redfish might be pushed up shallow in here waiting for this wind and tide and bait fish to just come with it or really whatever comes with it sheesh so we drifted into some unknown territory we were like really far uh down back that way dude the sun is out it's kind of clear sort of ish not really i'm gonna see if we could see anything over here A ferry. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Kelsey, hold on. Oh my god. Oh my god. Got him. Got him. Oh, that was so sick. Kelsey, I'll talk to you in a second, alright? Bye. Bye. <laughs> Dude, I was literally just Oh jeez. Oh my gosh. I was on the phone with Kelsey. Oh, this is a big boy. Hold on, let me make sure I don't freaking drop that. Oh yeah. Dude, I swear she's like my good luck charm. Oh, I saw him swim right by. Oh, come here. That was a freaking sick eat. Yo, I freaking love these fish, man. Oh, he's got a friend with him. What? Is that your girlfriend or boyfriend? Oh, jeez. Oh, no, 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 hey, 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 hey. Let's relax here for a second. I don't know if this was the big one. I think this is what I saw. <laughs> okay, chill, 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 chill. All right, that's a good fish, dude. Holy. Okay, I don't recommend. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Uh, eh, hello. Okay. We're good. Everything's good. We're fine. <gasps> There's another one right there. No, that's an oyster. I just got to give a giant shout out to this sun, man. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh, that is a really nice fish. Okay. Shrimp poking right out of there. Very well mannered when they're in your hand. Oh, dude, there's a heart. You guys see that? His tail thing is a heart. Yeah, on the other side, one nice one. Oh, two spots on the other side. Five spotter. I found out uh, when I was up in Louisiana that each one has a different amount of spots. I was on the phone with Kelsey. We were just talking about stuff. See this dude swim by. Throw it right on his path. Okay, looks like 21 inches. We're gonna get this dude back quickly as possible. So cool that it has a heart though, man. That's like a side for the fishy gods for not giving up. Oh, that's sick. All right. Hold on. Oh, oh my gosh. Ah, on the mystery gulp shrimp box. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. Baby, am I your arm? Yo, I, you know what's really crazy? That fish, like, I don't know if you saw my other video, but redfish have a certain amount of like circles like like spots on them right the spot on its tail kelsey was a freaking heart Aww. 
Aw, baby, what does that mean? I'm your lucky charm. <laughs> Was it recording in normal mode? Okay. Okay, 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 okay. This is freaking sick, dude. So we got dolphins splashing around to my right, sunnied up water. I just like, I, I don't, I'm addicted. I wanna stay here like another freaking month, dude. I feel like literally I can do this like every day. Let me ask y'all this though, for all my red fishermen out there, or even if you don't red fish, what would you be throwing in this situation? It seems like kinda, I don't know, like the past couple times I fished for them, it seems like they'll just kinda eat anything in front of them, like that they have to just hunt down. They're like super opportunistic feeders. But uh, is there like that one bait that I should try next time I do this that you know is just like freaking fire? What can I say though, man? It's a vibe. Look at just, just look at look at this. We've definitely been rewarded for our efforts so far. This is just like ah oh, man, catching any fish is cool, but catching fish in new spots and like new fish too. Like I I don't get to fish for these fish, man. So this is just like really really unique experience, and I'm just so blessed, and thankful to be able to come out here. I don't know if you guys have been noticing recently, but like I'm trying to post as often as I can, but you know, when I'm out here, it's you know, nothing's ever certain. And when stuff like this happens, it's just awesome. I mean, stuff like yesterday happened, wasn't the most awesomest thing, but it's still like fun to have that memory. And I feel like it gave me more experience. So that's something to take away from that. And also anytime I use the uh, head mount, now I know, you know? Yeah, man, any time spent on the water is no waste of time. Ha, ah, it's just, uh, I, I don't even, it's just fun, dude. You wanna know just where?